Before we get started, I'm going to take five seconds of your day to say we have streams on Twitch and YouTube. We have a Discord. Link is in the description below. And please drop a like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. But yeah, so one thing we did want to talk about, so just in general, here at Calzax, we're firm believers that people of this world will benefit from putting themselves into other people's shoes and soaking in what reality looks like for them. Uh, that's just been something that I've lived by, you know, early in my life, getting, I've traveled abroad, got to see other countries and stuff like that. And that was always something I thought was, uh, was really important for people to do. So we wanted to ask you, you have a very unique perspective as a female in this Tarkov streaming world. Uh, with that in mind, what would you, or we would love to hear what the experience is like and give you a proper opportunity to talk to the audience if there's anything you'd like to raise awareness about in regards to this. The floor is yours. Whatever you to be honest, like. it is not always a walk in the park to be a female streamer. Um, I don't, I've only ever really streamed Tarkov as my main game, so I can't really speak out like in different communities what it's like. But I just think in general, being a content creator, somebody on social media as a female, you are, you just have to mentally prepare that you're going to get more crap than a, like, I, there have been multiple times where I've like killed somebody. The one that always stands out to me, some guy came into chat and was like, hey, you just killed me on interchange. And, you know, of course, hey, GG's man, that was a good fight. I like, I always, if somebody comes into chat, I always try to be like, m tell them my perspective, you know, maybe help them out. Like why I knew where they were. Like, I could hear you healing. I heard you do this. I heard you, something like that. And I was like, GG's I man, that. like, yeah, yeah. I, I saw, I like saw your flashlight. I saw your laser. So I knew where you, you were on the left side, something like that. And he goes, yeah, but does your husband allow you to play video games? And I was literally like, well, uh, I am, you know, there's nobody here telling me what to do. Um, I paid for everything myself. I've built this all by myself, so I don't need to ask anybody whether I'm married or not if I can do this. And he was like, well, just at least go into the kitchen and make me a sandwich. And then, of course, you know, immediately we ban him. He's not allowed back, that sort of thing. But like. You, you get that a lot. A lot of guys are not happy that a girl killed them in a video game. And it's so stupid. Like, there's just so much stigma because of social norms. Like, I, it's getting better. It definitely is. But, like, I feel like my generation is when it really started to be, like, you know, more normal to see girls in a GameStop. Girls in the video game section of a Walmart. That kind of a thing. But it's definitely not normal yet. There are people who, like were brought up with old traditional values and that not that there's anything wrong with that, but like they're just not used to it. So like I don't always try to assume like they're a bad person right off the bat. You know, sometimes some people come in and say very mean things mm -hmm. and I'm like, OK, dude, but, you know, they're just not used to seeing females succeed in this industry, um, which sucks for sure. Um, and there's also the whole like, you know, the just chatting section of Twitch, you know, Girls, girls wear low cut shirts for views. They're just flaunting for views and to make money. Um, and I personally don't have a problem with that. That's not something I do. I kind of, is, you know, I'm trying to make my name in being like in my personality and my gameplay. So like, there's never any doubt. Like I literally wear hoodies and t-shirts on stream. That's all I wear. I don't want anybody to ever come in and accuse me of like, not like I said, not that there's anything wrong with that. In my opinion, like you do you, boo boo, make your money how you mm -hmm. can. If it works for you, that's not your fault. That's everybody who's paying you. You know, you don't like it. Take it up with the people donating and subbing to you. Um, but I just I want to be able to like. Make my name because of me, you know, and I think mm. that my community will be something I enjoy more because of that. You mm. know, it's not going to be people just kissing up to me. It's not going to be like, it's, it's literally like I always say, it's like I get to talk to my friends every day, you know, um, because I, it's literally like, I just talk to them like we're friends. I'm not like putting on a show or anything. Um, but no matter what, you're still going to get people who come in and say like, you're only getting views because you're a girl. You're only like getting subs because you're a girl. And that sucks sometimes because how, mm. how am I supposed to argue that, you know? But, mm. Mm. and it's, like, two weeks ago, I was, like, really having a hard time mentally with, with it all. And um, 
I, you know, I talked to Breezy and Gino and some of my friends just like, I'll let 99 comments roll off my back and just be like, hey, man, I'm sorry. You know, sorry you think that way, but I'm doing me. And then there's that that one comment yeah. that just like, mm. it just gets you. And it it pisses you off, makes you insecure, makes you feel bad. Like I literally had to turn off my camera, go to the bathroom. Like I was, fe- I felt like I was going to start crying. Like, and like, I can't show that on stream because it's just, oh, she's a girl. She's crying. She's whining. She's trying to get attention. You know, it's just, it, there's so many double standards. And mm. um, it, it's not easy to just let it roll off your back all the time when you're hearing this all the, every single day. Mm. Um, but it's expected now. I, the longer I've been streaming, the more it's, it's um, just kind of like part of the job. Which is unfortunate, but I don't think I'm in a position to do anything about it, unfortunately. You know, I can control my community the best I can, but I can't, con- I'm not Pokimane. I can't make, I'm not Valkyrie. You know, I can't make some big statement that is, gets trending on Twitter. I can't, like, I would love to be able to do that someday. And I'll always stand up for female streamers if I see something happening to them. I was even having a conversation with one of my friends this morning who, like, was having a small argument with another female streamer and I just DM'd him quickly and was like, before you say anything on stream, realize what you're doing to her. Like getting your chat almost like to gang up on her kind of not necessarily gang up, but like implementing your opinion to somebody who doesn't have an opinion. If that makes sense. Um, who can't, who doesn't go to that streamer, the female streamers chat and form their own opinion first. And it just brings toxicity into that female streamer's chat. And that's not something I ever think is okay. Even like, I don't want to send people to guys, to male streamers chats and be like, oh, you got killed by a girl. How does that make you feel? Like stuff like that. I would never want that either. Um, But I think the more normalized it gets to have females in the industry and the more people, the more men that stick up for the women, the better it will get. Yeah, that's my spiel. (laughs) <laughs> I, we appreciate yeah, you giving yeah, that spiel like real. that that is definitely something we wanted to ask and like it's just it's really not it's it's crazy just hearing the reality because like it's really just not something that we as as guys really have For to real. deal with on my stream you know like i all these struggles that you're describing it's just it's it's a totally different scene and it's just not the way it should be and so i just want to make sure that we gave you the, the chance to talk to the audience on that and you do and I, we're we're just here to yeah. listen on on that. that, was, that was honestly, eye opening, honestly. And uh, and but as you said, like it's up to. Uh, I wanted to make sure we give you the the chance to, to talk about that because it's almost like we people need to be as exposed to this kind of stuff as possible, right? Get that awareness. It's the people that don't really have that exposure, right? Mm-hmm. That haven't seen these sort of things. Uh, they don't have the perspective that are probably coming into the chats and raising these scenes, right? And so the more exposure and publicity. And as female streamers continue to get more into the scene and bigger and bigger, hopefully you're right that mm-hmm. uh, we can start to see some change. And and people, people on the other side of the coin, I need to stand up for you guys as well. So I, that's all I really have to say about that. Yeah. I just want to make sure that we all listen and, and take something away from that. And so, um, you know, reach out to y'all fellow streamers, give them some love, give them some support because it's, you know, it's a it's a wild west out there sometimes. Yeah, so. it's definitely helpful having guy friends that are streamers like stand up for me, you know, that's a big that's a nice like feels good, man, you know, that I'm not they recognize it. I'm not the only one seeing this. And even like my mod, my mod team is all guys. I don't think I have a single female mod. And the second they see something like I don't even have to say ban them, time them out. They're just like, that's not cool, dude. You know, so it's it is really nice to have that kind of support system. Um, and I know that they have my back. And, you know, the second somebody comes in, I'll get a DM, too, from Breezy if I'm not, like, playing with him or something. And he'll be like, you realize that guy's being stupid, right? Like, don't don't take that seriously. So, but it, it just sucks because not everybody has that. Not every female streamer has that. Um, so, especially smaller female streamers, you know, there are guys who literally just troll different gaming sections to find female streamers and, like, make fun of them in their chats. Um, so that... Crazy. It it sucks. It sucks like for somebody who's got two to five viewers and doesn't really have a mod. You know, they have to deal with that and reply to the person themselves and then ban them out themselves. Whereas like I can kind of just almost not even see mm. it sometimes because my mods are so fast with it. So 
So um, what would you say, crazy. like, what would be your advice for female streeters, streamers starting out? I'm sure you had to go through that phase, like, where you didn't have this mod team, and somebody comes to your chat, dropping things like that. What, what advice do you have for dealing with those kind of situations? It's easier said than done, but literally do not take anything anybody says on the internet seriously until you, like, get to know them. Like, there are definitely, like, my, my small community, I pretty, like, I know every, I've gotten to know people, you know? I'll, t I'll DM with them. I'll talk to them. Um, they're in chat enough that I can, like, understand what, like, understand that they're, what they're serious about, what they're not serious about. But if you have some random person who you've literally never talked to before, like, brand new person, username you've never seen before, and they come in and start making, like, sexist jokes, you can't, that's just a guy looking for attention. Um, and something I've learned from the, these guys in my support system is, like, they're looking for a reaction which I used to give all the time. I would talk back to them. I would trash talk with them. I would try to make them realize they're being very hurtful and stupid, but that's what they want. They want you to get worked up. So if you can literally just kind of be like, okay, dude, and delete the comment, ban them, then they're not going to come back because they're just going to move on to whatever other crap they want to do um, because all they want is a reaction. So if you don't give them their reaction, um, then they, they won't keep bothering you. Very that's good a, advice. Yeah, that's very really good, advice. good advice. Uh, so I encourage everybody, you know, who got a chance to listen to this, continue to pass on the word. Uh, you know, I mean, that's that's what it's going to take to to reach change is to for everybody to be supporting in the right way, and and continue passing on the word, uh, giving exposure, shedding light to these sorts of things. Um, it's really important, like I said, to just step into other people's shoes, uh, especially for those guy streamers out there. Like as she's saying. We need to make sure we, we understand the reality and, and are supporting out there. So um, please pass on the message and let's go. Let's go make some change out there, right?